What's going on everybody? Kuya here bringing you the second entry in our uh, new Minecraft journal series. I know on the last entry I was I was a little upset, not going to lie. I was down, I was depressed, I just lost my world. But that that's all changed. I gave my myself that day to mow. But we're good now. We are ready to go. We are so ready to go. I have I am falling in love with this world. Uh, when I lost my last one and I have created this one, I was lost. I'm not going to lie. I was just lost. I didn't know what to do, where to go. I knew about the spawner. I knew I liked this area, but that's it. Nothing else was coming to mind. But that has changed. All of that has changed. So many ideas coming in. Yeah, we're going to do the spawner. Still not up for tackling that yet. Uh, that, that scares me still. Yeah, there. Right. Down there. See? But not ready for that yet. What I am ready for is I'm going to show you around my base. I did a little cleaning. As you can tell, I've got some uh, iron finally. Got me some iron, got my shield. I want to show you around the base real quick. It's it's still a temporary base, but I like it. It's it's very cozy. If you can push your way through the water, see, it's very cozy now. I've even got a flower. Got my bed. Got a little table for my bed. Got my stuff. And there's three more iron I forgot to cook up. Got some more. Got some glowstone from a witch I killed. That was a stupid decision, but I did it anyway. We've got all this stuff, so we are we're pretty well ready to go. Grab that. I want to collect some more eggs because I want a chicken farm pretty soon. I've got two different entrances and ex ex exits. There we go. I can English to go through. Mobs won't come through this one because they float up, but at the same time. I've had them sit right out around that area, trying not to burn to death. So, and then I've also got this little area over here. I was decided to I was going to make it into a strip mine, and I made it all of right here before it opened up into a uh, cave, going three different directions. Oh no. Okay, maybe this no. I don't know. Okay, two different directions, but then I came on down, and it split up into three more directions. Right here. Not much that way, not much that way, but I cannot wait to show you what I found down this way. Let's, let's light that up a little more. Now, what I found down here is absolutely amazing. I wasn't planning on making a base underground for this series because that's what we tried last series let's, let's put another torch but and wait until you guys see what I found if I can find my way back there so let's see just checking water on here seems to hide, hide things from me I'm going to clean all this up a little bit took us all the way down to y equals 11 which is perfect. Came following this around. I'm going to get rid of all this gravel out of the way. And I saw it open up over there, so I created my little path here. I've got most of it lit up. I, I know there's still a lot of resources down here I've not grabbed yet. Don't worry, all that will be, will be gotten. I'll get it. So there's plenty of different paths I haven't explored. That's what I wanted to do a little bit today. <clears throat> I will grab all this stuff. <laughs> you, you can make sure of that. Torches on the ground like this point the direction back if it splits up. Just just make it a little bit easier. Light up that. I guess that was a coal vein. Let's see. Yeah, I think this one just circled. Possibly. Nope, dead end. I I know I know it's down here. I 
just don't entirely know where at down here. Cause I've only been down here once. That the time I found this place. There we are. Look at this. Look at this. This is beautiful. I love it. There's just way too much space. Way too much going on down here not to use this as my main base. Oh, I love this. This makes my old cave look like a rat's nest. Oh, so happy. I'm already thinking glowstone all across the ceiling. I'm thinking different areas, almost like a city, almost. Um, I'm thinking, what's what's that town in Pokemon? Ruby and Sapphire and Alpha and Omega. Where they, uh, where the town is kind of like in a cave like this. Or not necessarily a cave, but it's in a, it's surrounded by mountains and the only way to get to it is like very hard and stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. Hopefully you all understand. But it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of that. They've got different houses and villages and different things and different areas. So I really think that's what I want to do. Is create our house and our different areas down here it's so open and so wide and so beautiful I'm excited about this oh man there's still a lot of places I've got to get lit up a lot of places left to travel this is actually where I found the witch it's right over here now I know I said the torches were to point the direction but I needed this place lit up so I believe I found the witch like right over in this area and she decided to chase me for a little bit. She never hit me. She did hit a creeper, which was awesome. I, I enjoyed that. That was fun. That made the creeper much, much easier to uh, kill. So I know I was mopey, but I'm definitely over it. This right here has just completely changed everything. It'd make it even better if I could find like a slime chunk in one of these branches. Make a slime farm. Because I need pistons. I need a lot of pistons. Oh, look at all this. Oh. Oh, wow. This right here is what you call pure excitement. This is almost as exciting as getting 1.9. All right. This this one didn't pan out very much right here, but that's okay cuz there's like hundreds more. I like putting the torches on the right, but this is a pretty wide area to be doing that. I'm kind of surprised we've not found any mobs here lately. I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. No complaints here. I'm, I'm still a little skittish around mobs. Even though I've got armor, I'm still, I'm still a little nervous around them. It just takes that one creeper sneaking up behind you and going kaboom. Right in your ear. Well, technically it goes first and then kaboom. I'm not sure which one's... I think the hiss is actually scarier. When I come back and get all this, I'm going to explore all this thoroughly. Grab everything. But, uh, with that being said, uh, I did get my death counter back up. As you can tell, I've not died yet. And I'm quite happy with that. And I want to keep it that way. The only reason I'm doing the death counter is because I think it's going to be pretty comical at how many times I actually die in this series. Many of them, well, uh, I say many of them. I'm going to say, I don't even say most of them will be entirely my fault for doing stupid things. But stupid things is what what's entertaining. That that entertains us. Ooh, some more emerald. I uh, had someone ask me once, we were talking about movies, and they said, why, what, 
what do they not ever watch the do the people in the movies never watch other movies? If it's a scary movie, why are you gonna be stupid and go into the basement? Why are you gonna be stupid and split up? All these dumb things. And, um, they said something to the effect that it's just stupid, and I'm like, yep. Stupid is what makes it sell. So, you'll probably see some stupid decisions on my part. Probably more than I uh, would like to admit. Ooh, more emeralds. More than I'd like to admit. Man, this cave just keeps going. Of course. Let me split some more. Um, let me think. Okay, I hear I hear zombies. Let's try this. Almost positive these zombies are down here. Go away, floating block. Almost positive. Oh, this is another big cave area. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's just make it easier for the zombies to come get me. Or a creeper. Or a creeper. Or a creeper. At least get up here where I can, where I can fight you. Come on. Come on. I got this. I got this. Oh. Take that next step, because I'm going to knock you down. <laughs> but there went my stairs. Uh, not another witch. I hear you. I just don't see you. And that's what scares me. Alright. So, guys, I think we're going to tackle that little project, or that cave, at another time. I'm just going to go back here. Hello. This is the way I came, correct? Yep. Alright. Did I just skip this cave entirely, apparently? Okay, yeah. This is where it all split up. I don't have any more torches on me, so... Lots of gold, which is kind of pointless. More emeralds? There's a ton of emeralds. Alright, we won't go any farther because... It's hard enough for me to see, and I know you all can't see... When I do things like that, so... We're going to head back back to this main area and give you one more good look around because I want some of your all's advice on what I should build where Can maybe give me a style that you would like to see something maybe like a let's see, who was it? it was one of the hermits they were talking about since they were in the mesa they wanted to do the houses that were inside the mountains like the Mayans and Aztecs you could see them inside the mountainsides. Do something like that where all you see is just a little bit of the outline of the house here. And it goes on in all over. Or would you like to see parts of it uh, done like an underwater theme or castle theme? I mean, there's all kinds. The, the possibilities are endless. Let, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see out of this. I'm there, That's the thing. There's just so many possibilities so many possibilities and I don't even know where to begin now I really want to get that skeleton spawner going and the zombie just cause it's all there but I really want that bone meal so I can create me some uh, automatic farms and that way we can get some things going cause that'll make me feel better what am I doing? There we go. it's usually times like that when a creeper comes up going Psst. So, let's down this way. More caves. <gasps> Guys, guess what? It opens up. Was that a creeper? Or uh, an enderman? I'm guessing it was not. But it opens up some more. So we got another room down here to work with. All that's going to be gone. Oh, there's just so many possibilities. Ooh. 
Ooh, that looks pretty down here. I want to see. I could be wrong. Okay, just just regular old water. Up. Oh, wait. Is that my doing? It shouldn't be my doing. Oop. Let's see here. Um. Let's let's go this way and this way and maybe there was just a lava source there. Yep, there was a lava source there. Okay, that one had me a little confused. So let's head on back out. Urgh, so much gravel. So much gravel. I know this episode really didn't have a whole lot to accomplish in it. Or this entry, I should say. I don't want to use the word episode anymore. I want to use entry. Because this is a journal. We, we do journal entries. I know there's not a whole lot exciting in it. Not a whole lot really accomplished. A little bit of exploring. I like to do most of the exploring on my own. With an episode here or two. Or, uh, with an entry here or two. Of me exploring. Some time lapse in it and things. But. This is just too good not to show y'all. It is amazing down here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm happy. I mean, look at all the different paths we can go. All the different rooms we can set up. I mean, we're going to have a... By the time I'm done with this thing, it is going to be so massive and designed intricately and different things that I, I don't even ah man I love this if you would like the uh, seed to this world I will definitely put that in the description below because I've got that saved now that is definitely something I've got saved because I don't want to lose this one this one would break my heart even more than the last one Let's get rid of this This would break my heart losing all this. I found that path quite a bit earlier. And I looked down there, I'm like, ooh, this is massive. Because all but from up there, all you couldn't see any of this back here. All you could see is just this little bit, because you couldn't see below. You just saw this area and I thought, wow, that'd be cool. Hope I can find that. And I was actually going to show you that view to begin with until I actually found this place. But I'm definitely looking forward to this. Hope y'all enjoyed this episode. If you would like to see it, it's in the description below. You can jump in and join along. And uh, if you do, <clears throat> and you kind of take the same route I'm going, with uh, the design, or at least living here. If you're going to take and live here like I am, then uh, take some pictures and tweet them to me. Well, of course you're in my way. Tweet them to me. I want to see what you all do with this. Go ahead. Blow up. Die. Do something. Kind of surprised we didn't find diamond either. But, but definitely tweet them. Let me see. I want to know. I want to see what you all do with this. I will. Uh, let me get back up top and I'll get you the exact coordinates. Which I mean you can watch episode. Uh, I did it again. Entry number one. And you'll be able to see. Just, you know, I'm going to make a path right there. That would make so much more sense. I'm going to, you can watch entry number one and see just how close you are to all this. You see where I've went? I guess that is the good, that is another, I guess what you'd call a silver lining of me losing the other world. Is now you do get to follow along. Not this way, that way. From day one, the old world I had started. This way, the old world I had started on my uh, on my own wasn't going to record it. Fell in love with it, decided to record it. So everything was kind of late to the party. But this one, you get to start from the very beginning. So I'm almost back to the top. 
I will be finding a better way to get out of this cave. Some type of... Hello. I passed it. I do that every time. Right there. There's my torch. I'll make some type of elevator system or... Something fun like that. And that way we can uh, get up and down easier. This this is just my garbage chute. We actually we fill it back up now. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, a like rating would be much, much appreciated. Be sure to subscribe before you leave. That way you can keep up to date with what's going on in the uh, journal. That way you can see what else is going on with my channel. And again, you can follow me on Twitter to find out all that information. Here is the uh, coordinates. The seed again will be in the description below. I was looking, I didn't, I don't guess it's on there. And just to make sure, let's do this. There you go. That way, you, I make sure you've got it. The rest of that was just me playing around trying to get the. Uh, the uh, death tab back up and going so guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it really do thank you so much i really do appreciate y'all taking your time to stop in and watch it does mean a lot to me so until next time guys have fun be good and we'll see you all later <gasps> oh run skeleton shot Heart pain. Uh, okay, actually, yes, come to me, because this is not the cave, but there's one not too far from here. That <gasps> don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Oh, he missed. We're almost oh, there. Now here's. Yeah, here's a spider. It's on my tail. Keep coming and there's a zombie. There's a zombie. The zombie. All that's left is a creeper. You say that, and I already see two zombies on the other side of this. And a creeper. And a creeper turning around. Don't turn around. There are two zombies and a creeper there. I don't care about the zombies and the creeper. <laughs>